my talk will about will be about uh, the object which which is usually called Hessian matrix. Um, uh, my main interests uh, uh, are probabilistic and analytic problems, so I am not a geometer, and uh, so I. Try, try, I will try to explain how how this uh, uh, Riemannian Riemannian matrix appear in our problems uh, why they attract attention and hopefully uh, some people from geometry find something interesting uh, for them here mm, maybe new problems maybe something else uh, okay and uh, the starting point of uh, my will be the optimum tra transportation problem uh, which is now a uh, so quick quickly development area uh, and uh, so this is a problem to find uh, the object and uh, uh, to uh, to study the property of this object which is called optimal transportation so let me remind what is it? So uh, we are given two probability measures on Rn. You can simply think that they have densities, uh, uh, and you are looking for for a mapping which pushes forward uh, measure number one uh, uh, onto measure number two, and uh, it has a particular form which is a gradient of a convex function. Uh, the converse theory is uh, the theorem, which is called some, sometimes Brenier theorem, uh, saying that uh, for so uh, for a wide uh, for a wide choice of measures, so you you ask for nothing for measure number two, and for measure number one, you can uh, ask for density, or if you like, you can uh, uh, ask for for a weaker assumption. Which is written here in the formulation. Uh, so, if you're given for uh, two probability measures, you always find uh, uh, a mapping uh, which uh, uh, which sends mu into nu and has this form, which is a gradient of, of the convex, fu convex function. Uh, okay, so this uh, was a kind of uh, so discovery from uh, uh, from uh, uh, so in the, uh, was, was, which was done in the works of Bringier, which he was working on fluid mechanics. And uh, the standard approach to this uh, problem from the point of view of analysts is uh, to work with what is called uh, monsch kantarovich problem, which is an infinite dimensional linear programming problem. We are looking for not for uh, for a function or for a mapping, but you are looking for a measure uh, on a product space, and you look uh, which which is which is minimizing a, a, a function which is called cost functional, which is given by uh, the formula written here. So, so we integrate this this quadratic expression. Uh, just a minute. I uh i started program which allows to make i oh, no, no it's 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 already here uh just okay this 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 what is this 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 quadratic uh, function is called cost function and given the cost function and given two measures we always uh, can uh, uh, formulate the transportation problem and uh, and uh uh, some uh, uh, unexpected and a kind uh, uh, unexpected thing that uh, for this this transportation cost uh, the solution to Kantarovich problem uh, has a special structure. This is a measure pi, which is concentrated on a gradient of a convex function. So that. Was, uh, the discovery of uh, Brignier. And from this, uh, uh, this his works uh, started this uh, uh, on one hand, it, 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 uh, it's, it's 
about a very special particular thing. Uh, but on the other hand, it turns out that uh, the theory has, uh, new, has numerous applications. It's related to, uh, to many things. It's related to problems from analysis, from probability, stochastic processes, uh, economics, and of course, geometry. Uh, okay, so that's uh, a kind of remarkable situation that working with, on special things, you learn a bit, you learn more about uh, about uh, many other many many other things. Um, okay, from the point of view of PDEs, of course you uh, you solve an equation of the Menjam pair type, which is written here. <clears throat> uh, so you write you just okay. You understand that it it appears from the change of variables formula, and uh, the uh the approach of the approach of Brinier gives you instruments uh, of linear programming so you solve uh, uh, so the standard way to, to prove it is to solve uh, the dual what is called dual linear program program uh, which gives you uh, which solution gives you a couple of function and these functions are exactly these transportational potentials. Uh, or you can work directly with, uh, with the measure. This is, so you remember that the solution is a measure. You can investigate this measure and how by hand realize that uh, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a convex potential. Uh, is this property that the, the solution is concentrated on the graph and the arguments go back to some uh, uh, results from mathematical economics about uh, uh, so people from economics used this convex convex language uh, Lejeune transforms uh, convex functions and so general convexity for uh, for applications to to economics okay anyway <coughs> uh, you you uh, you get uh, a solution to the optimal transportation problem uh, in a very wide uh, setting and uh, the probabilistic motivation which uh, attracted my attention was a result uh, uh, of Caffarelli that this mapping is a contraction meaning that uh, uh, t is a one Lipschitz function provided that the potential satisfies this inequality inequalities uh, so here uh, uh, here d, 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 d2 is uh, of course uh, uh, it's a hessian it's a hessian metric matrix and uh, uh, the standard situation you apply this theorem is uh, uh, then you measure uh, the source measure is a uh, uh, Gaussian measure. In this case, of course, you have here one, and uh, for for the measure for the target measure, you assume this. And you yeah, you have a contraction mapping, and was uh, for because from. Um, uh, the point of view of say people working on the Monjam pair equation, uh, the probability of Caffarelli observation was uh, nothing special. It was just observation. Uh, uh, he just proved a bound uh, for the solution of the Monjam pair equation. Bounds of this type were known uh, for years. Uh, and uh, they usually are obtained just by maximum principle so you you take monster per equation you differentiate it to the x technique which was known from i guess kalabi type uh, and maximum principle gives you this estimate but uh for for analysts it was a kind of uh so say uh wonderful discovery because uh, having this instrument you can immediately transfer many results for Gaussian measures to uh, uh, measures satisfying this this estimate, 
so you can transfer and for Gaussian measure you can uh, establish many sharp results you can uh, prove sharp is a parametric is a parametric inequalities so with type inequalities you have some I don't know decomposition and Hermitian polynomials everything is very precise uh, 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 nice because it's the Gaussian measures kind of uh, precise model for prob probabilities and from this model you can transfer many analytic results uh, and uh, recover many things and get something new and uh, also uh, having in mind the the this 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 Kaffari contraction theory we believed that uh, it was this can be also applied to uh, problems which still are open uh, so yesterday was a talk of uh, Boas Klartak. I, I I think he 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 uh, was talking about uh, this problem like KLS conjecture uh, and uh, some related things and uh, uh, hopefully he he explains. Uh, uh, some some what's going on in the area <laughs> and uh, uh, so it's it's not what I'm going to talk about here but uh, uh, so uh, uh, when I start to to work with uh, style things uh, we hope that uh, having this uh, transport uh, instrument we can transfer uh, uh analytic uh, estimates from uh say gaussian measure on uh, uh, other, other nice measures into <clears throat> more difficult objects like uh, uh uniform distribution on convex sets and to get some uh, new results uh, at the moment uh the best results however they uh are obtained not, not by this technique but uh but uh, with the help of what is called stochastic localization so it turns out that martingales into formula and other things work here very very well uh nevertheless this uh uh Kavarelli contraction theorem still attracts attention for instance let me mention a, a very nice new results of fatigue goslan Prudhomme uh uh yeah, they established uh, estimates of this of this type without application of maximum principle uh but applying completely other technique like convex ordering uh entropy functionals and uh, some some something totally totally unrelated coming from other uh, other uh, uh say science Okay, and uh, uh, what is uh, 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 how to how to how to prove the uh, the system? As I said, the standard proof is related on the differentiation of the Mondrian pair equation. Uh, so having this this uh, uh, this equation of this type, you can differentiate it, and you will get uh, uh, something which which let me write in this form uh here you get what is called uh here you get a kind of elliptic elliptic operator and uh, uh i want to stress that what is eventually is not very well known is that uh elliptic operator generates a Dirichlet form of this of, of the symmetric type which is written here and this directly form you can view as a uh, energy on the Riemannian manifold <coughs> and uh, uh, you get an object uh, which is uh, um, space uh, uh, equipped with a measure and a metric so not only only Hessian metric you, uh, so so you get not only the Riemannian uh, the Riemannian manifold uh, when you introduce this, this is Hessian metric here but also you will get what is called measure measure metric space uh, measure plus metric 
on the same place on the same space and uh, the uh, this optimal transportation mapping it preserves not only Ah, okay sorry sorry uh, i have to add that uh, of course you 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 write the you can write this uh, for uh for for the source measure but you can write it also for the target measure as well sorry one second uh, so uh, so in the optimal transportation problem we have two measures you transport uh, new into new and uh, also for 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 new for new you have the same thing you have measure and you have a hessian metric there are c is related to phi by Alejandre transform and this transportation uh it's uh, uh it's a uh, mm, uh, say uh, uh First of all, it's it's measure preserving diffeomorphism, so it's it sends it sends measure into measure, and it also preserves a metric. So this is uh, this t it's uh, 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 maps yeah. the first space onto the second one. It, it preserves both measure and uh, the metric, and so this is a kind of uh, very nice picture uh, that in the optimal transfer theory uh, uh, you have this. Uh, 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 uh this object uh, uh this show the measures measure measure metric space and it's very very natural related to the to the transportational problem okay uh, so let's go through the mm, uh so in the in the in the in the proof of the Kafaria theorem, as I said, you you differentiate. So let me just quickly uh, say what happens. So you differentiate it twice. You you, you will get uh, 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 you will get this identity, and in the maximum point, you will have simply. So in the maximum point, you are looking for a maximum point of PII, and at the maximum point, you have this inequality. So it's 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 uh, it's it's a midet, and from actually extract very easily the, the conclusion of the Kafarelli theorem. Okay. Uh, okay. Here are just a list of problems. Uh, uh, the list of results you can uh, you can uh, get by applying this contraction theorem uh, you can prove uh, uh, isopermetric estimates block sobel inequality and uh, something about uh, uh, a spectrum of the weighted laplacians uh, and uh, here you get what is uh, in the main geometry usually called uh, mm -hmm. Comparison theorems, so that they are the the Gaussian measure serves uh, serves as a model, and uh, the 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 uh, target measure uh, for target measure you get that the the, the, the isoparametric uh, uh, properties is is not worse than in the Gaussian space. Uh, uh, and uh, mm, for analysts. Uh, the uh, right instrument for working with the metric measure spaces is not the Riemannian tensor and not the Ricci tensor, but what? Uh, but the, the 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 object which is called bakri emery tensor. Uh, here we have a combination of the Ricci Ricci tensor and the Hessian of the potential. So you have a measure and uh, it has a, a density with respect to the Riemannian volume, and you have a. Uh, 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 this object, which is called Ricci, uh, um, uh, Bakri Emery, and Bakri Emery is responsible for the most uh, of analytic uh, characterizations of the uh, of the metric measure spaces. And here, just a simple example. Uh, it's what is called Barskamp-Leap theorem. 
uh, uh, which is actually uh, almost immediate um, uh, corollary of uh, Bochna formula. Bochna formula for uh, metric measure space. So I, I, I recall the Bochna formula relates the the average of the generator of the uh, 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 of the say weighted weighted say weighted Laplacian of of the geometric measure space is with the Hilbert Schmidt norm of the Hessian plus here we have Bakri Remery applied to the gradient. Okay. Okay, and this this estimate is, is quite important for analysts. So it was uh, discovered by Barskampelip not in the Riemannian setting, but uh, so on the uh, on the flat setting and by by different uh, by different uh, instruments. Uh, for instance, it's uh, corollary. Also, it's also corollary of the Barskampelip inequality or Prekopa Landler. So if you like functional forms and. Uh, just an illustration of uh, what kind of results we can get here. Uh, it's uh, uh, just let let apply just this this inequality to the metric measure space uh, related to the optimal transportation problem. And uh, for this those, to this end, you have to compute the Bakri Emery. Uh, and uh, the Bakri Emery uh, uh, has this quite nice symmetric expression here. So here you, you see the second derivatives of the of the potentials, and here is a kind is a is a, is a positive positive uh, positive uh, tensor. Uh, depends on the third derivatives, uh, and uh, what happens if you apply just uh, just this uh, this uh, this brass complete bus brass complete results to the uh, 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 to the function which is a eigenvalue of the uh, hash of the potential <coughs> you will get a kind of uh, Dimension free estimates for the uh, eigenvalue of, of the operator. Uh, okay, this this so the, the nice thing that it depends uh, it doesn't depend on dimension. Uh, uh, and this was a result of. Uh, uh, mm, uh, was Clark like myself uh, obtained uh, I don't know say I, I I guess 2016 uh, okay so this just was an illustration and uh, so maybe I don't have a lot of time sorry I have a lot of slides but uh, uh, I I'm a kind of slow I apologize for this uh, but mm -hmm. uh, so let me uh, 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 quickly uh, discuss another result, which is uh, 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 eventually is most interesting for the audience, uh, uh, which is uh, <coughs> about uh, about estimates for the uh, uh, so, uh, for the for the uh, solution of uh, uh, of the what's what what called moment measure problem. Or if you like, it's a color real color chain. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so let me formulate it. So you ha you have a probability measure which has uh, uh, zero body center, and you are looking for a measure of this type, uh, such that which is given by potential phi, and the the uh, potential phi gives you. The optimal transportation of the of this measure into the target measure. So you will get an equation of of this type, and uh, so this is uh, something which is known for many geometers as uh, 
Kerr-Einstein equation, uh, so which was uh, studied uh, by many people, including Professor Bernson, uh, um, but mostly in the uh, uh, in the um, smooth setting. Uh, and uh, applying variational approach to this, uh, uh, you can get a solution and quite uh, under quite uh, uh, wide assumption. So well positiveness of this problem under quite wide assumption, we, this was obtained in the paper of <coughs> Clark and Cordero Raskin in 2015 that uh, uh, for wide classes of measure, uh, you can solve this equation in a big sense and uh, 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 phi is a, uh, gives the maximum to the following functional. Okay, the, the functional itself is uh, is related to uh, Prekoba, to Brun-Minkowski inequality. And later, it also it was also uh, realized by Sant'Ambrogio, Filippo Sant'Ambrogio, that uh, there is another variational functional which gives you the same solution, but uh, it can be formulated in the probabilistic uh, formulation. Uh, here you have measure and you have uh, the, the Gaussian entropy of the measure. Uh, so, uh, and also you have what is called Wasserstein distance. Uh, so this is uh, uh, this functional w, w, wt, this is nothing, but this is nothing else but the, the Kantarovich functional for the quadratic cost. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I, I, I think I, I will uh, stop my talk. So do I understand that my time is already over? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, uh, a result of uh, uh, mm -hmm. maybe maybe three more minutes. You can say something for us in three more minutes or five. Great. Three. Oh, great! It's it's enough. Uh, three, three, uh, okay, we studied we studied uh, 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 a special uh, uh, so together with uh, together with Clarbach, we studied a special case of this equation uh, and uh, uh, this this is written here and uh, uh, we just this is a just a, sim uh, a special case of the moment measure problem for the measure which is uniformly distributed on a convex set so given a arbitrary convex set uh, with Barrett center in zero. And uh, you study this equation here, and you uh, you want your uh, so you measure you measure it just in from your moment uh, your your moment measure just in uniform distribution uh, on the on this set. Uh, so let me let me stress that here your 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 uh, uh, your set is not not a polytop, but but it's just arbitrary convex set. Okay, you solve this equation, and uh, uh, we conjectured the conjecture that the 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 related cache net has a falling bound for the Ricci curvature, uh, and we have uh, and the the case there this this uh, inequality is inequality is uh, given by the following example. If you have, uh, if you take the simplex and you solve uh, uh, the uh, corresponding Kallenstein equation, uh, you will, you, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, write down the, ex the explicit solution. And in particular for this case, uh, uh the your your uh, uh your your k is the metric so for this this the, the uh with uk equipped with the equilibrium metric is 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 uh, uh turns out to be a sphere so for this uh for this uh uh for for the simplex which tensor is constant 
so it's it will be part of the sphere the equation constant is constant uh, is constant it, it equals exactly exactly this quantity uh and the conjecture was that this, this is actually uh, actually a maximum for the uh, Ricci tensors meaning that uh, for all other convex bodies every Ricci tensor is, is just bounded by this quantity well for me it's a kind of very nice geometric beautiful uh, facts uh, I don't know any application of this but maybe you geometry knows uh, we were thinking dealing with this we were thinking about uh, problems uh, from asymptotic analysis like KLS so there was a hope that uh, 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 that uh, that this uh, this uh, metric of this type can can get us some new results so last time we discussed it with this Clark just before the the, uh, the COVID uh, COVID epidemic, and actually it was the very beginning of this of this story, and after that, uh, um, uh, by reasons which um, uh, by by the, by the reasons of the epidemic and uh, and others, so they, they stopped this communication. <laughs> And somehow, uh, since that time, we don't have any new developments about it. But uh, so, uh, for the moment, uh, as three years ago, we have um, we have a result that this convection is verified for dimension two. So, for the in dimension two, we can prove it because in this case, the Ricci is just uh, is uh, is reduced to a scalar function. You can uh, uh, work with scalar function and apply maximum principle. Uh, you have say uh, two-dimensional kind of two-dimensional analysis here and uh, we were trying to work with dimension three the which is also relatively simple have many symmetries uh, but still it was not clear for us how to to use this how to to get this result but we believe that the, the our conjecture, the conjecture is true and uh, so Hopefully, it will be interesting for uh, for geometers by some reason. So and okay, I have more slides, but sorry, I I I have to stop here. <clears throat>